Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're just going to jump in real quickly to the top five IP checkers that I prefer to use. Um, first of all, I got Cisco Talos. That's uh, talosintelligence.com. Then I've got VirusTotal. That's virustotal.com. Uh, IPQualityScore.com. AbuseIPDB.com. And Scamalytics. An IP lookup, also known as an IP address lookup or IP checker, is the act of trying to detect the information behind the behind an IP address for both IPv4 and IPv6 IPv6 types of IPs. When you perform an IP address lookup in real time, you would likely be querying and testing against several different databases. On other occasions, the query will be answered by a passive DNS, domain, or IP database server. In either situation, inputting an IP address will show you detailed information about the ISP and web hosting provider using the network block. Most of the time, this sort of information is queried by technical users, system administrators, and security researchers performing infosec investigations surrounding phishing domains, spamming, DNS attacks, and other illegal activities. Well. Let's go into a bit more detail with each of the top five, shall we? First up, we've got Cisco Talos. This was something that I actually found by accidentally looking for a uh, for an IP checker. Let's quickly make sure the address that you've got there, talosintelligence.com. You can just pop in the IP address over here. You click on the search button or press enter, and immediately it starts searching the databases. That was just a few seconds. Great. Here we can see it gives nice information like you know the location and of course the host name who the network owner is it gives us email reputation and also if it's on any block lists and on top of that as well as additional information not that there is much on here because this ip address is probably not as severe dangerous let's move on to the next virus total also another favorite of mine that's virustotal.com uh, to check the IPs, you would actually have to hit the URL button, you can, and then you can paste in the search section the IP address. You hit enter. Great, and here we are. Okay, so this also tells us per database, you know, whether or not this is clean rated or, you know, whether you should be concerned about it. You know, you can see by the clear indicator here that this is in the green, so this is great. No security vendors flagged, and this URL is malicious. Let's click on details. Great. We can see, you know, some submissions and last analysis on this IP address. So that, of course, was me today. Let's click on community, and here we can actually see if anybody's posted a comment about this or not. The cool thing about Virus Total is that it's not just an IP checker. They do have several different features as well. There's APIs that you could use to search and cross-reference with whatever scene you're using. You could use to query their different databases that they have. As you can see, there's Sigma rules, there's universal API endpoints. There's a whole range of features that you can go into. But you can do that in your own time. But yeah, that's uh, virus total for now. Let's move on to the next. Another popular one that my peers love to use is IP quality score. This is also similar to virus total in the sense that it also has many different features. Some are free, some are paid for. So let's just go ahead and look and see if we can find anything regarding the IP checking. But just before we get to that, you can see that currently they have a promotion for free API key. So yeah, ipqualityscore.com. Let's scroll further down and see. Cool, they got some information about us over here. There should be an IP checking tool somewhere in this list over here. There we go. Look up an IP address. If you want to get directly over there, that's the address that you got to put up. IPQualityScore.com free-IP-lookup-proxy-VPN-test. Oh, that's a lot of dashes. Okay, cool. So here we go. I'm going to put my IP in there. It's going to see what's going to happen. Great. What does it tell us? Again, you know who the network owner is. It's not a proxy connection. Great. It's all nice and clear. What else does it tell us? Not a location, of course, as expected. It has no abuse issues among our free plan level data sets and blacklists. All right, that's cool. What else? Bot activity, abuse velocity, 
um, of course the ASN, uh, even latitude, longitude, wow, shouldn't be giving that information out. <laughs> uh, again, some mail spam and block list information. All right, what do we have here on the right? Nothing else, nothing further regarding the IP. Also a fraud score. All right, and the risk summary. That is pretty cool. Great stuff. Also, let's just look at some of the other detection, the, the other features that they have, device fingerprinting and so forth. Yeah, as I mentioned, there are certain paid for features. So, you know, when you have time, you can go straight into detail with the uh, IP quality score. Let's move on to the next. IP abuse database. Great, I'm just gonna put my IP in there. Let's do a quick check. The This is abuseipdb.com. That's the address to get to the IP checker for yeah, abuse IP. Cool, so this is quick, straightforward. It doesn't pull that much information, but it works. All right, let's see. It just gives us the ASN. It gives us the location, all right, and the host name. That's cool. You can do a quick report on this, and you can also do a who is. Let's just have a look up on this. Cool, nothing in the reports. In the who is, well, we've seen this information previously. Great. And it also gives you a range of all IPs that were reported as malicious in probably, this is probably, you know, recent, you know, the most recent reported IPs. So that's pretty cool, straightforward. If we need a quick IP checker, abuse IPDB. I don't make use of this one too much, but if I do need a quick one to jump to, this would be it. Cool, let's see what else we've got over here. If we go to the home section, there's also a feature for pricing. Great. You know, you could also have like, you know, individual basic premium features and so more. You can see the billing, the charges up there. They've got, what else? You know, an about IPDV. They've got a statistics section. Let's see, number of reports in the 24 hour histogram. This is pretty cool information. And you can see the time zone that it's in. Great stuff. Let's check, we've got IP tools, you know, convert IP address format. So that's also pretty cool. We've got a bulk checking tool, you know, you can check probably a whole bulk list of IP addresses if you're doing scans or investigations and so forth. Um, yeah, what else? DNS lookups, so that's also cool. That's, yeah, this, this works, this is really good. Anyway, let's move on to the final one, uh, Scamalytics. I don't use this one too frequently, but first time, let's see what happens. So I'm just popping in this IP over there. Gives us a nice outlist. Uh, you were able to see this instantly. Low risk, high risk. Okay, cool. A nice table tells you a bit about this. You know, whatever's going on in the IP gives you the actual, um, a bit more detail over here, um, as well as the who is information that it supports scans. And we can also check to see if this is on proxies. And uh, let's see. Not much else aside from that, but I do know that Scamalytics, they do have other features built in, um, but they're more about, you know, aimed at scams and so forth. Uh, and I can see that they also do do a lot of uh, work for, let's see, online platforms. So that's also pretty cool. Um, so which means, uh, you know, they do have somewhat of a reputation, um, shared blacklists, real-time detection and so forth. Yeah, and there are a couple of testimonials on the site. There's obviously a lot more that you can do. Report scammers, you know, um, as well. And then, of course, they do their due diligence. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So remember, in the event of checking IPs, that not every single database will get it absolutely right the first time. Um, it's usually checking by... Yeah, they won't get it right always. It's probably an 80% to 90% uh, accuracy rate that I would say in my experience. Sometimes they do get it wrong. Sometimes it's misreported information. So do not solely depend on IP checkers to give you the information that you seek or to conclude investigations. This is only, this I recommend only to be used as a guideline, each and every one of these five. So when you do your analysis and you do think of, you know, concluding um, threats and so forth, Make sure that this is in your report, building a case. Make sure that this is not the only uh, group of evidence that you do have. Please make sure that you do investigate further, you know, in other avenues as well. Um, yeah, you know, when you do your analysis. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or anything, feel free to drop us a question in the comment section. 
Uh, what I will do is I will leave the web addresses uh, in the uh, the description as well, just so that you guys can have it. Anyway, but yeah, that's it from me. Um, yeah, leave a like if you want. Cheers.